boys and girls. I'm so happy to be here today. I get to do my favorite thing, read. Read a story to young boys and girls. Today's story is The Lion and the Mouse. I think you'll really enjoy it. Once upon a time, there was a happy little mouse who lived in a far away jungle. The mouse loved to run through the forest and play. He could climb, jump, and swim. And there was always plenty of fruit to nibble on when he was done. One day, the little mouse was playing hide and seek when a huge lion with very sharp teeth leaped out of the bushes, cornered him, stepping on the mouse's tail. The lion roared, who's there in my jungle? The little mouse's nose quivered. The lion picked the frightened mouse up by his tail and took a better look. Well, 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 a little mouse, the lion said. He opened up his mouth just as the mouse pleaded. Please don't eat me. And why not, the lion asked. You would make a delicious morning snack. The poor mouse whiskers stood straight out with fright. He knew he had to quickly think of something clever to say. Pages always get stuck. <laughs> Taking a deep breath, the mouse said, little friends can be big friends if you let me go. I'll never forget it. One day I can repay you with for your kindness. The lion was speechless. He had never seen such a brave mouse. Finally, the lion tossed his mane and set the mouse down. Well, I'll spare you this time, the lion said, but I don't know how a tiny creature like you could ever be of help to me, the king of the jungle. Then the lion roared and ran away. Phew, said the mouse, leaning on a low branch. That was close. The mouse forgot all about the lion until a couple of days later. He was hanging upside down by his tail when he heard a familiar roar. A group of hunters had trapped the mouse's friend in a large net. Squirming and howling, the lion clawed at the net in rage. Let me go, the lion roared. The hunters ignored him, and the lion could not escape. The hunters hung the net from a tree and went in search of a wagon to carry off their lion. The lion needs my house, the mouse helped. The mouse thought, and he stood up straight, and he called out, Mr. Lion, I'll save you. Jumping from branch to branch, the mouse hurried over as fast as he could. He jumped down on the net and sawed back and forth with his sharp teeth. The mouse gnawed through one rope and then another until he created a large enough hole for the lion to escape. Very grateful lion saw that his kindness to the mouse had not been wasted. Turning on his paws to go, the lion said, I guess little friends can be great big friends. The mouse happily agreed. Yes, indeed. And I hope you can remember, boys and girls, that no matter how big or how small you are, you can show kindness and be helpful to someone even bigger than you are, which makes you have a good day and them too. Have a good day.